what is going on guys mobile carry news here so i'm currently back not really in my uh old apartment um i uh, will say i'm basically 10 minutes away so i am testing closer to the beach right here this time on the iphone 14 i still have the iphone 12 it's currently in my airbnb i'm just holding it there because you know just just to keep it there i could honestly take it with me to use the hotspot. um but I'll probably test it out. I'll probably bring and test it out at a different day because I just didn't have time this morning. I was in a rush. But even even with the iPhone 12, I think I could get closer to 200. Now this is on ultra wide band, as you can see. So now I'm gonna do another speed test, 40 millisecond ping. It's not too bad at all. Um, this is basically where it's getting the signal. Um, I do know. Okay, I was about to say, I do know it can get faster, and it is getting faster, honestly. Um, I've also noticed, too, and I've discovered that a milli with millimeter wave, um, it, it's only get used when you use high amount of power, like this speed test I'm doing. I wish I wish what Verizon can do is um, that no matter where you are, ultra wideband will be available. Sometimes it cuts back to LTE. That's, this is when you're not using a lot of power. Um, I unfortunately I don't really like, like how any every carrier does that. I wish I could just stay where it is. Um, I do know T-Mobile stays on ultra capacity a lot. Um, maybe because their network is optimized, and that's what I'm hoping eventually what Verizon will do. I know their plans to improve 5G is very different from T-Mobile, but they they would do say they will be the best network by 2024. So we'll have to wait and see. Um. This, in this area speed test, I will do another speed test. I think I may be in the next coming months just to see how the improvement is. But so far, this is really good. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Hope you